Boom. That was pretty good. I want to hit another one of those. Hey, what's happening? This is Renzi, a golf professional here at Lake Hills Golf Club. Today, we're going to talk about the punch shot. Saved my life many a times out on the course if I get an errant tee shot or something. You know, we don't do that often, but it happens. So, also, you can also use this shot for wind play. Um, and if the wind ever kind of is gale force and you're going right in, the wind's right in your teeth, man, this punch shot is really, really going to help you out. So, let's check this out. Let's look what makes a punch shot different from a normal shot, okay? So, right here, I've got a little T line set up, and this line going right here kind of between my legs is actually going to show us our ball position okay where we have the ball placed from back to front or front to back with however you look at it so in a real standard when you're swinging a normal golf shot you want to hit it high in the air so it lands soft on the green okay so I've got a seven iron in my hand so that's kind of what we're gonna be doing this whole drill with today is a seven iron so with a seven iron Standard setup, kind of ball more or less in the middle of my stance. You know, hands pretty much straight up, little little forward press though, you know. So right here, that's standard setup, okay? That's gonna, when I come down, bam, my hands are not too far ahead. I'm still utilizing the full loft of the golf club and it's gonna hit that ball really high in the sky. So we're gonna do a punch. We're gonna approach the punch shot. Here we go, okay? Get set up like normal. Okay, see how the ball's in the middle of my stance? Pretty standard, all right, here with this seven iron. So what I'm gonna do is, now I am gonna hit the punch shot. The wind's right in my face, right in my face. Gotta hit it low and the ball's gotta have this boring, solid trajectory so it's fighting right through that wind. How we're gonna create that is, we're gonna deal off the golf club by putting it back in our stance. So let's put the ball back in our stance a little bit. Wow, what has that done? That has de-lofted the golf club a bunch. My hands are now ahead of it quite a bit, okay? So from here, instead of the standard sweep swing, when we have the ball here, you know, ball then just a little bit of divot, what we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda hit a little more down on the ball, if you will. I mean, simply put, just a little more down, a little deeper divot, maybe. So let's try this. Ball back in our stance, all right? Ooh, de-lofted. One of my favorite shots to hit actually is this punch shot. And we're just gonna kinda make a swing more down into the ball, into the ground. Let's check it out. Boom, creating this nice, whoa, boring. That was pretty good, I wanna hit another one of those. But you can see how the, the divot is actually a little bit deeper, a little more aggressive divot because a ball back in my stance, it really is gonna have you, boom, hitting more down on the ball. Look at that. Club is so de-lofted, that thing is gonna come out low and hot, really, really hot. As opposed to, look at the loft of the golf club now when I impact the ball if I'm standing with the ball in the middle of my stance. So, give that punch shot a try. You're down here at the range or you're out on the course. If you're not really gonna hit down on the ball, how about just placing that ball back in your stance a little bit? Ball will come out lower, hotter, could help you out. It saved my life a bunch on the course. Uh, who knows it could help you too. Give it a try.